Comrades Basladukum, part six. You didn't think you're going to be playing anything as difficult as this. It's gorgeous. I'm going to play this for you first of all, and then we're going to have a look at it. So just stay watching the music. The melody starts on an E, just above middle C. So just follow that music. I'm going to play the right hand for you. Hold for two, three, four, hold for two, three, four, one, two. Grab your coat and one, two, three. Now I won't sing a meat. I'm just going to play it for you. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let's get going. You're going to start with your thumb on E. Now let's have a look at the pattern here. I want you to clap with me and see if we can get this lovely long phrase to be joined in your mind before you even start playing it on the piano notes. Here we go. One, two, and clap with me. E for two. G for two. Grab your coat and one, two, thumb. Right, we're going to try that again. I'm not even saying the notes in between. I want you to start working them out. Because you can see we're going up in little steps. Mostly little steps up. There's a skip over there. And then down in steps. So you know these notes. Right, I'm just going to play it for you. You're going to clap along with me. One, two, ready, go. E for two, step, step. G for two, steps up a skip, D, C, grab your coat, and A for two, G. Right, now look down on the piano and play this along with me. I'll play it for you first, and then you give it a try. You're on an E, just to help yourself. Put the first three notes underneath your hand. So you're going to go E, F, and F sharp. All that's going to be underneath your hand. And then you're going to put your thumb under onto G. Look, all that underneath your hand. So let's start again. We're going to have those three notes, these five notes. And at the end, don't look up, but there's an A, and you'll put your third finger onto an A. So just watch my fingers. We're going to do three, five. And then your third finger goes on to an A. Right, let's see if we can play it. I'll play it for you once and then you play it back to me. One, two, ready, go. E for two, step, step, G with your thumb, up, up a skip, down, grab your coat, breathe, A with your third finger. Now, play it with me. One, two, three, go. E for two, G with your thumb. Up a skip, D, and two, with your third finger, now there's a crescendo. What does crescendo mean? That's right, getting louder. So if you're going to get louder, you start off softly and get louder from there. So we'll make that E soft, and you're going to get louder step by step. Right, let's try. One, two, three, soft. E for two. And G louder, and the D is loudest, and it gets softer. Wow. Let's try again. Soft, and then get louder. Pretend you're breathing in and getting bigger and wider. One, two, three, four. E for two, louder, louder. G for two, louder, louder. D. A for two. The left hand is a bit scary. So let's have a look at the piano. Let's not look up first. Let's just look at the piano. If you were there on the previous bar, all you're going to do is move your hand down to an A flat. I know you're not always so used to the flats and sharps. An A flat, a flat lowers a note by a, a little step. Okay, so we've got A flat and the same thing again. The next chord, I will tell you the notes. It's G, C, and E. Quite comfortable. Then you keep the C in the middle. The top note goes to E flat. The note underneath goes to F sharp. That's okay. Fine. 
let's go back and see what we did. A flat and C. Little finger goes on to G, C and E. Middle note stays down. Don't change the finger or the note. Go to an E flat at the top, F sharp underneath. Cool. Right, now let's just look at the music again. Let's just have a look back at the music. Can you see that A flat? When is an A flat in a bar? It lasts for the whole bar. So that note's also going to be an A flat. When you see this F sharp, that's going to last, that'll also be an F sharp. That E flat will last through for that bar. So you just stay on those same notes. Again, it makes your life a lot easier. Let's go back here. Follow the music with me. So just keep on looking at my finger. It's going to be a rest, hold for two, rest, G, C, and E for two, rest, F sharp, C, and E flat, hold for two, rest, F natural. That sound just means it's not a sharp anymore. B and D. Now don't try this hands together. In fact, don't try this, this page hands together yet. Just get used to finding these chords. Let's just try this left hand again. So it's rest, hold for two, and rest, G, C, and E for two, rest, F sharp, C, and E flat. Everything just slides down the step to F, B, and D. Just have a quick look at that again. It's F sharp, C, and E flat. Where you were, you play it again, and everything just slides down. Now, can you just take your hand, sorry, your eyes off the music, and look down at the piano again? Just look at the piano. We had F sharp, C, and E flat. Now we're going to go down to a D to a B and down to an E. So literally everything slides down the step. So you had F sharp, C and E flat and then it goes down to D, B and E. Now look at the music, rather look, sorry look at my hand, my, my apologies. Look at my hand and I'm going to play the left hand for you. One, two, three, four, rest. F sharp C and E flat, hold for two, and rest, slide down, hold for two, there you go, the end is in sight.